And so the third and final day of Moto 2 pre-season testing in Jerez on Thursday. And it's been an absolute clean sweep this week for Takaki Nakagami, fastest on days one, two and three. This time reducing the best time to 1.42.206. But there was no race simulation for the Japanese. He was suffering problems under braking and reported a strange feeling with his new fuel tank. 2012 Moto3 world champion Sandro Cortese in the meantime jumped up to second place on this final day, just under two tenths of a second down on Nakagami. With Switzerland's Tom Luti completing the top three for Intervetten. So it was Cadex 1 and 2, Suter 3 and 4, but no race simulation for Luti either. Following his crash on the second day, he decided to rest a little bit on this third and final day. But it has been a better pre-season than last year when he was injured very badly in Valencia. Belgian Xavier Simeon was in fourth position for Federal Oil Grassini. He also looks promising moving into the season in Qatar next week and was less than a tenth slower than Luti. And Caterham's Motor 2 adventure will begin at the sale as well. They complete testing inside the top five with Johan Zarco, with Josh Herrin down in 21st position. Whereas Pons' leading runner today was Louis Salam, the man who finished third and almost won the Moto3 World Championship last year. He set a 42-6, which was four tenths down on the fastest man, with reigning Moto3 World Champion and his teammate Maverick Vinales in 11th place. And so, testing over, and they regroup in Qatar for the first free practice session under lights next Thursday.